On April 22nd, our class took a trip to a wonderful sustainable farm in the Hudson Valley, Hudson Valley Kinders and Critters. When we arrived at the farm, we were greeted by Stephanie, one of the farm's two owners. Stephanie explained how she had grown up raising chickens. She and her partner became interested in goat farming after getting a couple goats for their backyard. Once they began goat farming, they realized they needed more land for their goats, so they turned to the Farmer Landowner Match Program. The Farmer Landowner Match Program matches landowners with prospective farmers who need land for their work. It's a mutually beneficial system that helps promote sustainable farming. The landowners get tax breaks because their land is being used for agricultural purposes, and the farmers get to use the land for much less than it would cost to buy. Terrence, one of the people who helped found the Match Program five years ago, came to Kinders and Critters to talk to us about the philosophy behind the program. The farmers are often young people looking for a chance to farm without buying land. Hudson Valley Kinders and Critters is a perfect example of the match program at work. Stephanie's farm is on a piece of property in Red Hook owned by a couple and their children. The family is actively engaged in the farm and the kids especially like to help out. After we met Stephanie and Terrence, it was time to meet the goats. We dipped our boots in antibacterial cleanser. We signed waivers just in case of any goat accidents. Stephanie explained that they have two kinds of goats, which they raise for both meat and dairy. The Kinders were her favorite. She explained how she had become attached to them and they would come sit in her lap. She also told us a story about kidding, helping to birth baby goats. It was cold out. She cuddled them in her sleeping bag with her to keep them warm. When we arrived, a baby goat had just been born a few minutes before. The goats were incredibly fun to play with and we even got to pick them up. There were plenty of baby goats passed around and it was sad to say goodbye.